when people think about marriage, they think automatically about eternity, longevity, because they're thinking, oh, this is the person I'm going to be with for the rest of my life. You know, you take your marriage vows very seriously till death do us part and sickness and health. Well, we can revisit that one. But the truth of the matter is that the moment you exchange rings in the marriage ceremony or the wedding ceremony, most people, something happens. <laughs> You've heard this before. I'm not making this stuff up, right? There's nothing new under the sun. But there are a lot of people when they get married, they immediately think that the marriage or the ring is symbolic of some miraculous occurring. Now, once you get married, that that changes the dynamic of your relationship. It changes how you think and feel about each other. And it should somehow have this significance that is weighty, that, that holds the marriage in place. Now, commitment is what should hold the marriage in place. You both made a commitment to be together and to honor and treasure and value each other and respect each other. Those are the values that definitely should be in place. But if you marry someone and you were dating them before you got married and you had problems, the problems do not miraculously go away. <laughs> it's not a wash. It's not like you get married and all of a sudden, you know, the person was in, unfaithful towards you. You had children out of wedlock, you know, with somebody else, or, you know, you had financial issues, all those issues you bring with you into the marriage. And I know this sounds silly to be saying this, but somehow people don't realize that the seeds you sowed before don't get uprooted and got harvest without the work being done. You have to do the work in order to overturn the things that were affecting you before you came into the marriage. Marriage is not a, a, it's not a miraculous occurrence. When you get married, what you're really doing is all you're doing is committing to this other person and to everything else that comes while you and that person are together. Let me say that again. Marriage is not a miraculous occurrence. It is actually you're sealing the deal that you have someone with you who will go through the better and for worse parts. So don't feel like the for better or for worse parts are not going to come because you're in love right now or because you don't argue or you don't have a problem right now. They will come, whether they come from you two together or they come through family or other people's problems. The for better, for worse will come. Just, just hang in there. And I don't wish this on your marriage. I don't want people to, to have a bad marriage or I'm not saying that there's not a marriage that's possible that, that is perfect. There probably are perfect marriages out there. I tend to be the ER doctor for relationships and relationship counseling. So forgive me if I'm a little bit jaded in this particular video. But most people that believe that the moment you get a ring or that you get married, that that changes the dynamic, you're not, you're totally wrong. It doesn't change the dynamic of, of what was before when you got married. The other thing is you cannot use the ring or the wedding ring as a way to control each other. Now, how many times have I heard people say, you know what, this person is not wearing their ring outside of the house or they lost it or they forget it. And there are definite incidences where men and women both alike have purposefully left their wedding ring because they're up to no good or shenanigans. That's 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 historic. That's not something that you're making up or something that you're not thinking in your head. And most people do know their partners, so they know and they follow the the patterns in, in, the, in the relationship or the pattern of what that person has done in the past. So there are those occurrences. And I'm not talking about not trusting your instinct or your intuition either. What I am saying though, it is that if you got married, and when you put that ring on that person's hand, you thought that the ring would be a tool to control the individual that is not behaving correctly or that is suggesting that that person's behavior might be incorrect or inappropriate. A ring is not designed to control that person. So you mentioned in the ring at that point is counterproductive or counteractive to dealing with the real issue, which is the person's behavior. So don't use the ring and say, oh, you're not wearing your wedding ring. You know, there might be a legitimate reason or not, but focus more on developing the relationship between you and the person. Focus more on truth. Focus more on trust. 
focus more on feeling secure as opposed to being insecure. If there's a certain measure of insecurity, it's not the ring causing it or not wearing the ring that causes it, it's just adding to the insecurity that's already there. So you need to address those negative issues that have creeped into the relationship, whether prior or currently. I hope I made sense. You know, um, a ring is a beautiful thing, you know, and you do deserve to have a ring and you do deserve to wear the ring, but you should not use it as a tool to control each other or control the relationship. You should address the behavior behind the inappropriate behavior or occurrences in the relationship. And that's what I wanted to say, really, because I know I have people that come to me and they're like, well, he's not wearing his wedding ring or she's not wearing her ring. Or, you know, I know that they're doing something because they're not wearing the ring. Or, you know what, this disrespect to me because they're not wearing the ring. And sometimes, you know, it's more than the issue of the ring. It's simply that you guys have grown apart or are growing apart or that there's some issue of distrust that has creeped in or the other things that I've said into the relationship. And those are the issues you need to address. Get to the heart of the matter instead of dealing with issues that are superfluous. My name is Ingrid Felton. As always, thank you for listening to my YouTube channel. Thank you for visiting. And thank you for supporting me on this journey. And as long as you continue to show up, I thank you for my many supporters. As long as you continue to show up, I will continue to be here. Have an amazing day. Bye.